What is up guys, my name is Harry Rice, welcome back to the channel, and today it's obviously a brand new video for the channel. Uh, this is more than likely not going up on the same day it's being recorded, just because if you can see how long the video is, then yeah, you could probably tell. By the way, first full video with the new HD webcam, courtesy of Jesse, my moderator. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is a pretty good uh, webcam. I'm hoping everyone that views this agrees. And today, as you can probably tell by the title, it is going to be my DVD collection. This is more than likely going to be over a two hour long video just because I'm probably going to mention a lot of movies that I like that I have in my collection and whatnot. But, um, but yeah, this is actually also the first movie video that's going to be on the channel. And I thought, what better way to begin than with all the movies I own as of right now. In the future, I'm probably going to just do movie updates until the end of the year and the beginning of the year is going to be the DVD update and then I'll probably just do one at the beginning of every year and then just with the updates in between e each month that I get a DVD. Let's just begin. Uh, 310 to Yuma, I'm going to have to get used to. Uh, actually, no, yeah. Let's, uh, this probably will not be edited, by the way, so enjoy this. Um, this is a four film pack. The only one I know here is Midnight, uh, Midnight Movie. Oh, apparently contract killers. Um, uh, seven unforgettable short films from Pixar. Uh, Eight Mile, pretty pretty good movie. I gotta get used to, to how close the the webcam is to me. Uh, Twelve Monkeys, really really good movie. Uh, Twelve Rounds with John Cena and. 12 Rounds 2 Reloaded with Randy Orton. I don't own 12 Rounds 3 just yet, but I hope to get it just to complete the collection. Uh, 17 again. 21. 28 weeks later. I still got to get 28 days later just because uh, I want to complete them, and I'm still waiting for 28 months later. Uh, the 40 Year Old Virgin. Uh, 88 Minutes. 300, 500 Days of Summer, 1408, and 2012 to end off the uh, to end off the numbered DVDs. So now we're getting into the A's. We've got uh, A Beautiful Mind, Charlie Brown Christmas, Christmas Story. A Dangerous Man, I must have a mind. Uh, a Film with Me in It, A Man Apart, A Nightmare on Elm Street, pretty really good movie, A uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, and A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4, uh, The Dream Warrior, uh, Dream Master, excuse me, Dream Warrior I believe is 3. Uh, by the way, I'm not, I'm not actually going to give too much thoughts on the movies that I really, really like, just because I have a special project in... in in process right now about Schmidt. It's not about Schmidt, but uh, accepted. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. The Adjustment Bureau, and of course we gotta move them now. Uh, Adventureland. Against the Ropes. Alice in Wonderland, this is a shitty bootleg version. I'm, I highly doubt that's the original. Uh, Alice in Wonderland, the 2010 remake with Johnny Depp, uh, Anne Hathaway, and Helena Botman Carter. And apparently Crispin Glover. I did not know Crispin Glover was in, was in that movie. Um, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Alvin and the Chipmunks, the squeakquel. The American... I just want to point out, by the way, guys, it feels really weird looking at myself in HD because I'm so used to the shitty webcam I had. American Beauty, just watched this for the first time recently. Really good movie. American Gangster with Denzel Washington, Russell Crowe. I got a few Russell Crowe movies, apparently. Uh, American Heist, this is $350 at the dollar store. I'd like to say it's worth it. American History X, one of the greatest movies of all time, in my opinion. Uh, the First American Pie. And then American Pie, this is the four film collection. This is the uh, OG cast, the one, two, three, uh, one, two, wedding and reunion. Uh, I thought it was all going to be individual discs, but it's sadly not. 
American Pie presents Bandcamp. I still need uh, Naked Mile, um, Book of Love, and Beta House uh, are the other three if I want to complete the uh, collection of American Pie movies. American Psycho, uh, Amityville 3D, and the Amityville Horror remake from 05 with Ryan Reynolds, which I have no idea why Ryan Reynolds agreed to be in that. Probably for the money, which I don't blame him. They probably gave him uh, quite a bit of money for for that movie. I, I really don't want these movies to fall over. Uh, anger management. You know, what? I'm actually gonna get through the A's and then I'll move the move these back and whatnot. Uh, Art school confidential. This is by the same director, uh, Terry Zigoff, uh, Zwigoff, uh, who did Ghost World. Ghost World's a great movie, and he also did another movie I've seen. I, I feel. Uh, oh, he did Bad Bad Santa, but I haven't seen Bad Santa yet. Uh, Austin Powers International, Man of Mystery, Despite You Shagged Me, and Gold Member. Yeah, I feel like these are going to fall over. I'm not actually going to move them just yet. I'll just switch and do a, a second pile. Uh, babe and Babe Pig in the City. I find it funny. It says Babe, and then it's, it says on the side, uh, Family Double Feature. And it's only at the bottom. It says also includes Babe Pig in the City. That's uh, kind of funny. Uh, baby, Baby, Baby. I've never seen this movie. Never heard of it until I got it at the dollar store. There's a lot of weird independent movies at the dollar store, by the way. I'm actually going to sort of try and move back on screen if I can. Uh, baby Driver. Fantastic film. Uh, the Babysitters with John Leguizamo. This was one of the movies, one of the quite a few movies my sister gave to me uh, with her collection. The Back to the Future trilogy. I'm going to have to try and... Switch hands for now. Uh, Bad Boys 2. Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call, New Orleans. Bangkok Dangerous. Barnyard, The Original Party Animals. Bartok the Magnificent. Basic Instinct 2. Batman, the Blu-ray, this is the Digibook version. Uh, Batman Begins, this is the version with the comic book inside. And Batman Under the Red Hood. I'll uh, move these over, obviously, so I can. I'll do it part of them at at a time, just so I'm able to to actually fit them, hopefully, without all of them falling over. Oh yeah, I didn't mention it. Back to the Future, one of the greatest 80, 80s movies of all time. Uh, be cool. Sadly, don't own Get Shorty. Just a spoiler. Be Kind Rewind. B-Movie, of course. Uh, Ar Artie Lang's Beer League. I should probably put that under A, actually. Uh, Begin Again. I only got that because Haley Seinfeld's in it. The Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, big. Two, uh, two Fox releases in a row, I just noticed, actually. Uh, the Big Lebowski, one of the greatest movies of all time. For two bucks, it was heavily worth it. The Big Short. Funny story about this movie. Uh, I got this at uh, a, a place called Giant Tiger. It's a place here in Canada. I don't know if the U.S. has it. The DVD, the, the Blu-ray was $10. The DVD, $10. Of course, I went with the Blu-ray. Uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Double Feature. This is uh, Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. Uh, Face the Music is apparently coming out next year, which I'm quite excited for. The only thing that sucks about these is they're the uh, original releases. They don't have any special features on them, which anyone who knows me knows. I, oh, Julianne Moore isn't big. Anyone who knows. Oh, that's Big Lebowski. I knew she was in Big Lebowski. Um, uh, but yeah, anyone who knows me knows I love my special features on uh, on my DVDs. Um, I love when uh, when DVDs come like packed with special features. That's why I wanted to get the double feature, uh, d two disc set or three discs. I think it is actually. I think it's a three disc set. The uh, the one I was thinking of. Encoding has been overloaded, so my apologies if uh, the audio the video goes out for just a, a bit. I'm gonna move these two stacks over. Or the two. Remaining stacks, I should say. I'm actually probably going to end at the C's and then do the D's uh, in the next part. It probably won't matter, actually, because this is all one big video anyways. Uh, Bill Ingvall, he's your sign live. 
Uh, Birdman or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. That's a fantastic movie. Uh, Black Hawk Down. Um, what's this? Oh, Black Snake Moan. That's a pretty good movie. Uh, the Blade Trilogy. I, which, yeah, one and two are on a flipper disc. And Blade, funny, Blade Trinity on the, the disc is called Blade 3 Trinity. Uh, I know, it, obviously, it's the third movie in the trilogy, but still, that's kind of funny. On the disc, it's called Blade 3 Trinity, but on the spine, I'm not sure if you can see in English, it's Blade Trinity. In French, it's Blade 3 Trinity. Uh, the Blair Witch Project. Uh, the Blind Side. Uh, Blizzard. I almost said Bizarre for some reason. Uh, Blue Collar Comedy Tour, the movie. I did not know in 2003 they were still doing the flipper discs. Or, uh, snapper cases, excuse me. Uh, Blue is the Warmest Color. I've heard it's a decent film. Haven't checked it out myself yet. Bob's Big Break and Monsters 3D. Boogie Nights, fantastic, fantastic film. Uh, a lot of great actors in that. Uh, Mark Wahlberg, John C. Riley, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Julianne Moore, Burt Reynolds, uh, Don Cheadle, just just to name a few of the great actors in that movie. Uh, I even feel like there's a couple I'm missing. Oh, William H. Macy. Uh, William H. Macy, definitely. Uh, Borat. Oh, and I love, I love, they have the disc. Uh, look like it's one of those burned illegal DVDs. That's 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 awesome. Uh, I love that they I love that they have that. Also, funny enough, on the insert, I have two of the four movies on this side, and technically two of the four movies on this side. It's just one of them's in the double. Oh, I I also didn't even notice that it says uh, also legal to own in Kazakhstan and uh, more movie discs available from US of A. Or U.S. and A, but yeah. Uh, Born to Race. I have no idea what that movie is. The Boy Next Door, the only Jennifer Lopez movie I would ever own because my mom wanted that one. Bratz Kids Sleepover Adventure. Don't don't ask me why. The Breakfast Club, one of the greatest movies of all of all time. Brokeback Mountain, a really really good movie. Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal are great in that movie. Uh, Brooklyn Rules. Bruce Almighty, a decent comedy. Uh, Bruno. Of course, we're going to switch to this hand now. Uh, Bubba Hotep. The Buddy Holly Story. Bulletproof Monk. Uh, the Butterfly Effect. And I believe the next... D no, that's that's the final B DVD. So I'll get into the C's in just a moment. Of course, just got to... Just got to place the bees down in here. Yeah, so now there's two stacks right next to me of DVDs in the, uh, in the C pile. Uh, one second. But yeah, so um, encoding's overloaded, it says, but I'm going to keep going. Uh, so yeah, now we're into the C's, which I'm probably going to put beside me, actually. Uh, Caddyshack. Cafe, which my parents said was a really, really terrible movie. Uh, uh, Capote, uh, which, funnily enough, beat out Brokeback Mountain. I actually bought this movie like two days after I saw Brokeback Mountain uh, because it was that giant tiger for like three bucks. And uh, fun, I was actually looking it up. I was like, oh, Capote beat Brokeback Mountain, and then two days later, I found it at Giant Tiger. Uh, Carlito's Way, which I've heard is a great film. Uh, Cars. Also, by the way, I want to mention, this first part is not going by as as, as slow as I thought it would be. Cars 2 uh, and Cars 2 made Tall Tales. I still need to get Cars 3, despite it being easily the worst in the series. Uh, Casino Royale. Castaway. Uh, Catch Me If You Can, a great movie. Uh, Two-disc edition, which is really, really cool. Uh, Cats and Dogs, The Revenge of Kitty Glore, one of the first Blu-rays I ever got. Catfish. The Changeling. Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, sadly did not come with the tradable cards. Charlie's Angels. And Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle. Charlotte's Web 2, uh, Wilbur's Great Adventure. And Charm. Uh, so I'm going to move these, so just give me a moment.
Uh, all right. Yes, yeah, so I'm just here again. Just give me a uh, second. I'm gonna continue. Of course, this is the last stack of DVDs, actually. Uh, or for for this filming session. By filming session, I mean 20 minute shit fest. Cheaper by the dozen. Christine. Uh, Christmas Carol the movie with Simon Cowell, Kate Winslet, and Nicolas Cage. That was two dollars, so it was very much worth it. Christmas Shoes and Christmas Blessing, apparently both with Rob Lau. Uh, though only one of them has a special appearance by Rob Lau, and yet he's on the cover more than Neil Patrick Harris. Was Rob Lau really that big of a star? Christmas with the Cranks. Chronicle. Thankfully, I did not pay $33 for that. I actually got it for free because, yeah. Uh, Clerks. I did not steal Chronicle. Do not spread the rumor. <laughs> Do not spread the false lies and misinformation. I love my Christian impersonation. Clerks the Animated Series. This should probably go in the TV shows, but meh. Click. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. A really, really funny animated film, in my opinion. Cloverfield. Uh, Collateral. Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx. Funny, fa funny thing, I actually always thought that was uh, Eddie Murphy, not Jamie Foxx. Uh, the Comedian, which has a really good cast. No, it's not. 100% sure. How good it is. Uh, Commando. Uh, the Condemned. Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, which I've heard is really, really good. Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Uh, Constantine. Uh, Coraline, which is a very, very good animated film. And now we've got Crank 2, High Voltage. Sadly, don't own the original. Crazy Heart, pretty good movie. Uh, Crazy Stupid Love, I thoroughly, I quite enjoyed it. Crazy Dangerous with two now superheroes. The Hip Hop Witch, which I only bought for Eminem. It was also quite a rare DVD, apparently. Dallas Buyers Club, pretty good movie. Daredevil, the director's cut. I actually own the theatrical on VHS. Dayton Epic Movie. Dave Chappelle's Block Party, the remake of Dawn of the Dead, one of my favorite, uh, maybe my favorite uh, horror film, or straight up horror film, because Zombie Land and Shaun of the Dead are zombie comedies, or horror comedies, but uh, straight up zombie film, Dawn of the Dead's my favorite. Uh, the Day, ah, you, wow, that hurt. Uh, Day After Tomorrow, Dare, uh, Deadpool, which is great. Death to Smoochie, very, very proud to own this movie. This is one of my favorite Edward Norton movies. Uh, one of my favorite Robin Williams movies as well. Maybe my favorite, actually. Uh, Deck the Hulls, uh, Danny DeVito and two straight movies right there. And then on to our final deck of DVDs, Deja Vu, The Departed, great movie. Uh, Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo, Diabolical, Diary of Wimpy Kid, Roger Rules, Dickie Roberts, former child star, uh, District 9, Disturbia, and Django Unchained, still sealed because I just got it like last week. Uh, I'll be right back with the, or not right back, you can probably tell by the clock, it's going to change drastically. Uh, I'll be back with the next stack of DVDs sometime eventually. All right, and we are back with the uh, second shelf of DVDs right now. Uh, as you can probably tell by the clock, it's uh, very much a different day. Yeah, uh, we're just going to get right into the second shelf of the DVDs. So, yeah, we've got uh, Dogma. I'm going to have to switch hands, of course. Uh, Dogma, this is the special edition that looks like the uh, the Bible. Don John, really, really good movie. Donnie Darko, one of the new additions to the collection. I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, Donkey's Christmas Spectacular. Uh, Double Double Jeopardy. Dr. Doolittle. Uh, Dr. Seuss's Horton Hears a Who. Dr. Seuss's Horton Hears a Who, the remake. Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the remake. And Dr. Seuss, the Cat in the Hat, um, the remake. 
I really don't know why I bought Cat in the Hat. I knew it was terrible. I'd seen it when I was a kid. I guess it was just nostalgia. Uh, Dragonet. Drillbit Taylor. Dude, where's my car? And the Dukes of Hazard. Next up, we've got Eddie Murphy Raw. I don't own Delirious yet, sadly. Uh, Ed TV. I only got this for Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, Woody Harrelson. The Age of 17, one of my favorite movies of all time. Edward Scissorhands, which I only bought because there were no writers in it, really. Uh, Electra, which I bought because it was the sequel to Daredevil. Empire State. I actually think I bought Daredevil and Electra at the same time, now that I think about it. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, one of the one of my favorite movies of all time. Evan Almighty in the stupid little, uh, I guess, eco-friendly case. Everybody's Hero. Uh, Evil Dead, that's the 2013 one. The Exorcist, this is the extended director's cut, which is, uh, for $3, I kind of regret getting Evil Dead and Exorcist. It was three each, just because I'm so used to spending like two each on Blu-rays, but eh, it's not that bad. Exorcist for the beginning, which I believe is burned. It's just I'm not 100% sure because they look like the legit DVDs. I'll have to put them in my DVD player and check them out or something eventually. Uh, Stanley Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut. I sh I put this under E for Eyes Wide Shut just because just that's the title of it. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this movie is, but uh, I'm sure it will be an adventure once I finally get to watch it. Next up, we've got uh, The Face of an Angel. I only bought this because Cara Delevingne was in it, and it was three bucks, so. It's funny. Uh, it's funny. I don't mind spending three bucks on a DVD, but three bucks for a Blu-ray at a yard sale. <laughs> That's too much. I just realized that. But, uh, but yeah. Actually, that might have been $2, actually, now I think about it, because it has the pink tag. Uh, Family Guy presents Stewie Griffin, The Untold Story. I probably should put this under the TV shows, but, I mean, it was kind of an episode turned into a movie, so, yeah. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Heard that's a really good movie. Uh, the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. That landed right in my balls. That that hurt. I'm going to power through. Fast and Furious, one of the recent additions to the collection, surprisingly. Fast and Furious 6. Oh, yeah, Everett says her hands is also a new edition. Fer Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Uh, Fido. Fight Club, fantastic movie. For $8, that's really worth it. <laughs> it hurts really badly. Uh, uh, Final Destination. Final Destination 2, one of the recent additions to the collection, which I'm very happy about. Final Destination 3, the Thrill Ride edition with the... Does, yeah, the Choose Their Fate version is on here, which I'm really happy about that. And, of course, the Final Destination, which has the cool lenticular cover. Uh, funny enough, I only need uh, Final Destination 5 now, which I'm really happy about. Uh, Rambo First Blood, or excuse me, Just First Blood, uh, Flushed Away, uh, Focus, I only got that because Margot Robbie's in it, really, uh, the, the Forgotten, anyone who watches Hey Watch Your Mouth stream knows why, that, why I'm smiling for this movie, that's a, that's a big meme in the, the community. Forgetting Sarah Marshall, For Your Eyes Only, Four Brothers, which uh, I believe a subscriber to the channel, DDT Regulator, keeps wanting me to watch, and I have he's been asking me for like a year and a half, and I haven't gotten to it yet, Four Christmases, uh, Fracture, Freaky Friday, Fred the Movie, and of course, Fred 2 Night of the Living Fred. I now need to get Fred 3 Camp Fred just because to complete the collection. Uh, Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, Friday the 13th Part 5, A uh, New Beginning. Uh, Front Runners, which was like a dollar. Frosty the Snowman. Funny People, which I've heard is a really, really good movie. Uh, G Force, one of the first DVDs I ever got. Uh, Garfield Gets Real. Uh, Get Rich or Die Trying with 50 Cent. 
Uh, George Carlin, Life is Worth Losing. George Carlin is fantastic. Uh, George Carlin, Playing With Your Head. It's a really, both really, really good stand-up specials. George Carlin, I don't think, has ever had a bad stand-up special. Next up, we've got George A. Romero's Diary of the Dead. And uh, Land of the Dead, sadly, this is the theatrical cut, but I like this cover better than the uncut version for some reason. Um, I think it's because the... The hand and the zombies are made to look bigger. I think that's the, uh, the reason I like the theatrical cut cover better, at least. I think the uncut, co the uncut version is only longer by like 10 seconds anyway. Uh, Ghost. Uh, Ghost Town. Uh, Gimme Shelter, which I bought for James Earl Jones, but it looks interesting. Uh, Girl Fight, which is one of the DVDs, one of the quite a few DVDs my sister gave me when uh, she gave me her collection. Uh, the Girl Next Door. Thankfully, it's not the. Uh, for some, I thought I thought it was called The Girl Next Door, The Eli Experience, but I guess it's it's also just The Girl Next Door from 2007. That movie looks awful. <laughs> it looks absolutely terrible. And on the disturbing sense, it just looks like a really bad movie. Uh, Goal Two: Living the Dream. Uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I don't remember how I got this. All I know is that I used to watch it all the time when I was a kid, and I might need to do a, a nostalgic review on that. Totally not ripping off the Nostalgia Critic, but of course doing it better because I can do anything better than Nostalgia Critic. Uh, Goodfellas, which one of the greatest movies of all time. Goodfellas is just fantastic. Uh, next up. And actually, I'm actually going to pull this this pile uh, just a little bit closer to me, and I'll do the same with the final pile. Um, yeah, next up we've got uh, Good Will Hunting, which is a great movie. Uh, Goon, Last of the Enforcers. I sadly don't have the, the original one. Oh, yeah, Alicia Cuthbert is also in this one. She's also in uh, Girl Next Door, as I'm sure you guys uh, saw since she was on the front cover. Uh, the Goonies, fantastic 80s film. Gran Torino, which I really need to see. Uh, the Green Mile. Gremlins. Uh, oh, uh, Grindhouse, Death Proof, great Tarantino film. And Planet Terror, these are actually both, uh, these are both the two disc special editions, which when I got them, they were a dollar each, by the way. Uh, when I got these, I did not know they were the two disc editions, but that's uh, pretty dope. Love Death Proof. Death Proof is a great film. Death Proof is a great film. Uh, Groundhog Day, really, really funny movie. Uh, the Grudge. Gulliver's Travels. Uh, Halloween, the original. The Hangover. The Hangover Part 2. And Hangover Part 3. I really don't know why I own all three Hangover movies. Actually, I think my parents bought those. That probably would make a lot of sense, actually. Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus, Best of Both Worlds Concert. I don't know why I still own that. Hannibal Rising, which is sadly not the one with uh, Edward Norton. But I've heard it actually is not that bad of a movie. I'm probably going to move my Pepsi that's right beside me. Um, we've got Happy Feet. Uh, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, or Sorcerer's Stone is what's called in the U.S. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince with the really cool uh, lenticular cover. With Harry and, I forget the guy, but uh, Snape and uh, Dumbledore. At least I'm pretty sure it's Dumbledore. Uh, yeah, Fun, funny enough, this is actually, I believe, the first Harry Potter movie I ever got was Half-Blood Prince. Uh, Hate Ship, Love Ship, which I only got for Haley Steinfeld. And for a dollar, it was worth it, I guess. Uh, Hellboy and Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. Thankfully, I was able to find the first one. Hero Wanted, uh, High Rise, uh, Hitchhike Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Home Alone 2, Hop, 
uh, Hot Fuzz, big Simon Pegg fan. Uh, Hotel for Hotel for Dogs. The House Bunny, which is an awful, awful movie. I'm going to have to do a review of that. How to Lose Friends and Alienate People. I'm going to have to give that another watch and determine if I really like it. Hulk, which the only reason I upgraded from my burned DVD copy. I'm not sure if you can see, but uh, if you know the DVD, you know. Put this, Insert this DVD into an Xbox console and play an entire level of the Hulk game. I don't own the Hulk game, so that's the only way I'll be able to play it. And next up, we'll have I Heart Huckabees. Uh, I Know Who Killed Me. I Love You, Philip Morris. I Robot. I Saw the Light. I Tanya, one of my favorite movies of all time. It, uh, I Want a Dog for Christmas, Charlie Brown. I Am Wrath. Uh, I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer. That's the third and probably the worst. Ice Age, great film. Ice Age Meltdown, my favorite of the Ice Age films, personally. Ice Age, a mammoth Christmas special. Uh, the Imaginarium of Dr. Panassis. Panassis. Pin in my asses. Uh, in Good Company, which I didn't even realize Scarlett Johansson was in this until like a month ago. And I might actually want to watch it now because Scarlett Johansson's a great actress. Love her in anything she's in. Uh, Inception, one of the best movies of all time. Uh, the Incredibles, which is not a really beat up case. Funny thing, uh, I actually had a choice between, I think it was this, Stuart Little 2, uh, or the B-movie game. <laughs> that is that is kind of funny. And I thankfully chose The Incredibles. I think I chose it like right away. It's like, oh, do you want The, the Incredibles, uh, Stuart Little 2, or the B-movie game? I was like, The Incredibles. <laughs> Uh, just give me The Incredibles. Uh, the Incredible Hulk, which is a good movie, I find. Uh, Indecent Proposal, very happy to have this movie, considering it's uh, pretty hard to come by. And actually, I'm, I'm going to point out now, it's actually kind of funny. The worst movies, or not the worst movies, but the bad movies are always the, one that are, the ones that are hard to find on DVD. Uh, that and MCU movies. Uh, What's well, the difference? Uh, the Informant. Uh, in, uh, Inglorious Bastards, which is a probably, honestly, unpopular opinion. My least favorite Tarantino film. It's still great, but probably my least favorite, honestly. I probably just need to give it another watch and it'll climb up my ranks. Uh, Inside Lionel Davis. The first 20 minutes of Inglorious Bastards are still, it's still just fantastic cinema. Uh, Insomnia, which is a really good film. Uh, interview, which I really need to see. I only bought it for Steve Buscemi, of course. Uh, it's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown, and it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Uh, the Italian Job, which I didn't even know Ed, Edward Norton was in there. I only saw that after I uh, after I had already bought the DVD, and once I became a fan of him, I looked back at the DVD and I was like, "Oh shit, Edward Norton's in this movie!" And of course, Seth Green, Jason Statham, and Marky Mark. Uh, Jackass the movie. Jackass number two, Jackass 2.5, and Jackass 3. I still need Jackass 3.5 and really waiting for Jackass 4 to come out. Uh, Jackass movies are great. Uh, Jackie Brown, which is a great Tarantino film, probably top three for me. Uh, Jamie Foxx, Straight from the Foxhole. Uh, Jason Bourne, which for some reason my parents bought for $27. Uh, Jaws, the 30th edition, the 30th anniversary edition with the special book inside. Jaws 3 or Jaws 3D. Uh, Jay Z, Fade to Black. We're actually gonna move these just off to the side. Uh, Johnny English. Uh, Jonas Live as we roll. Ah, my bananas flopping all over the place. It sounded so much worse than I thought it was going to. Uh, Just for Laughs, Uptown Comics. I only got this for Dave Chappelle because I love Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle's dope. Uh, Just Friends with Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Juno, which I'm actually just realizing has to go before uh, the Just movies. Uh, yeah, so Juno. 
And one I'm really excited to own, Juon, uh, the original grudge, the Japanese grudge. Um, which, that's that's uh, supposed to be a really scary movie, which means I'm never going to watch it. Uh, Kangaroo Jack, which is an awful movie. Uh, the Karate Kid, the original, which I'm very happy to own rather than the remake. Kill Bill Volume 1. And, of course, Kill Bill Volume 2. Very surprised there's been no release of the Kill Bill movies with um, with uh, with both of them comprised into one movie. Like, especially with Blu-ray and Ultra HD now, I'm very surprised they haven't done that yet. Uh, Kill Shot, which is apparently what Eminem named his MGK disc track after. Killer Elite. Uh, the theatrical cut of King Kong, and the uh, the unrated version, or not the unrated, but the deluxe extended edition, which is three hours, 21 minutes. Uh, the King of Comedy, which is apparently what Joker takes a lot of inspiration from, so I'm going to have to watch that. Uh, knock Knock, it's an Eli Roth film, which is funny because I feel like uh, either uh, <laughs> Lorenza Ilo or uh, Anna, de, Anna de Amor, Anna de Amor, or Ar Armas, I don't know how to say her name, she's Spanish. Uh, I believe one of them are actually Eli Roth's wife, which is kind of funny. I feel like it's Lorenzo Isla because she does the uh, audio commentary with, uh, with Elon. So, yeah, that's kind of funny. It's a, I guess it's, a, what's it called? An, uh, an erotic horror film, I think it was, which is funny because there's like no nudity. I'm pretty sure that's why. Yeah, sexual violence and disturbing content, which is what it's rated R for. And uh, Knockout with uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's going to end the second shelf. Uh, I'll be back probably another eight days and uh, get the third shelf going. So, And we're back. It's probably a day or two after I recorded the last section of this video. We're just going to get right into the uh, the next section of the video, uh, which is, I believe, the Ks to the Ss, uh, or at least for, from, from what I'm doing right now. We've got Kong, Return to the Jungle, Grampus. Uh, Kung Fu Panda, Ladder 49, I'm just now noticing I have quite a few Joaquin Phoenix movies, uh, Larry the Cable Guy, The Health Inspector is thankfully not one of them, uh, The Last Run, uh, Law Abiding Citizen, which I've heard is a good movie, Legend of the Bone Napper Dragon, uh, Loose Black, Stark Raving Black, uh, Lilo and Stitch. Stitch has a glitch. I did not buy this for $24. It was like a dollar at a pawn shop. Which, actually thinking about it, finding a Disney movie for a dollar is actually a really good deal. Because a lot of those movies are out of print, which I don't get why a lot of them suck. The Line, which I've never heard of. Uh, Little Fuckers. Uh, Little Nicky. Life from Austin, Texas. Dwight Yoakam. Uh, Logan, Longest Yard, uh, The Lookout, which I only got for Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Love Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Uh, next up, Lord of the Rings, uh, Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers. And the Return of the King. Uh, I've not seen any of these movies. Um, I really don't get why it won Best Picture in '03 for uh, Return of the King, but uh, yeah, I want to say I had Return of the King first, and then I picked up Fellowship of the Ring and Two Towers elsewhere. But yeah, that's really—it was really just to complete them. Lost in Translation, fantastic movie. Lucky Number Eleven. Machete. Madagascar, Madagascar 2 Escape Africa, Maid, Malcolm X, which thankfully was only a dollar. I only realized that once I got home it was a Spike Lee movie. Um, he's only made one good movie, by the way, and you'll find that out in the top 100 uh, movies whenever I decide to do that, if, if I decide to do that. I don't know, it might be 50, 25, actually it probably wouldn't be 50 or 25 if I... If I do that, uh, Man Up, Manhunter, which is funny because in the actual DVD, this was used as the cover. This was this is right right there on the cover, 
And it's funny because uh, at first I pulled it out. I was like, oh, Manhunter. I was like, oh, this is probably bootleg. Then I opened up. I saw the disc and I was like, eh, it might not be. And then, uh, and then when I got home, it took me like a month to realize this was an insert. And that was the actual cover. But, uh, yeah, I have the... Oh, yeah, and this is an Anchor Bay DVD. I just realized that. My first Anchor Bay DVD, I believe. So, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Maniac, great horror movie. Very underrated. Uh, Elijah Wood's great in that. Uh, the Marine, which is not a bootleg because I have a copy that my sister gave me in there. Uh, it is a bootleg case, though. I still need to get a, a, tech, a real case. Uh, the Marine 2, Ted DiBiase. Uh, the Marine 3 Homefront with some irrelevant guy on there. And the Marine 5 Battleground with a bunch of irrelevance on uh, on there. Next up we've got uh, the Matrix for film collection. That's uh, Of course, that's uh, the Matrix, Matrix uh, Reloaded, Matrix Revolutions, and Animatrix. Uh, I've not seen any of them yet. Matrix on Blu-ray, this is actually a UK release. I won this in a contest, which uh, I find pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, mean Girls, which was a dollar. Keep in mind, guys, a lot of these movies I get, I never pay full price. I think there's only about, I'd say, five or ten in, five to ten in here that I actually paid full price for. A lot of these were like a dollar to three dollars at like pawn shops and thrift stores and all that. But, yeah. Let's, uh... Let's, uh, let's keep going. Uh, meet the fuckers. And in turn, meet the parents, which I know people are going to get butt hurt. They're out of order in 3, 2, 1, but I don't care. Uh, meet the Robinsons, great, great animated movie. Uh, Megamind. And Megamind, the button of doom. This is one of the movies I paid full price for at retail for some reason. Uh, Memento in a very cool uh, case. I'm not going to pull it out because it's a pain to get it back in, really. Uh, Men in Black 2. By the way, if you guys are wondering why a bunch of these have cutouts, I was a stupid kid. <laughs> I think that's all you really need to know. Uh, the Men Who Goats, one of the biggest disappointments in my film watching history. A lot of great actors, and it was just meh. Which sucks because I think this is a Coen Brothers film. I feel, I feel, no, 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 it was not. It was actually, was it was not a Coen Brothers film. For some reason, I keep thinking that is a Coen Brothers film. I think one of them worked on it, maybe. Uh, Mary Madagascar. Uh, Michael Clayton. I got quite a few uh, George Clooney movies. And not enough Tilda Swinton. Not enough Tilda Swinton. Uh, Million Dollar Baby. Uh, Miracle, which, of course, I had to get. I'm a huge hockey fan, as you could probably tell. Uh, Mom and Dad. Money Talks, Monster House, Monsters vs. Aliens, uh, Moonlight Mile with Jake Gyllenhaal was a dollar. I don't. I've never found that. So the fact that I did find that is great. Uh, Mr. Bean's Holiday. Which, I actually should flip that around. Mr. Brooks. Uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, the Muppets. Uh, Murder in the First, which... Uh, Kevin Bacon, the degrees of Kevin Bacon, I'm like, eight degrees, I guess. Uh, Mystery on the Orient... Murder on the Orient Express, excuse me. Uh, My Cousin Vinny, which I've heard is a really, really funny movie. Uh, my Girl, My Girl 2. Uh, my Old Lady, which I never heard of, but I picked it up because it was like three bucks at the dollar store. Uh, the Naked Gun in the I Love the 80s packaging. It comes with a CD in there, actually, which is pretty cool. Uh, Napoleon Dynamite, which came in a three-pack with two other movies you'll see soon. Uh, Nasty Baby, which I've never heard of. Uh, uh, National Lampoon's Tele Le Film, or TV the Movie. Um, I've never seen that. National Lampoon's Van Wilder. Thankfully, I did not pay anything for this. This is a movie uh, my sister gave to me when she gave me a bunch of her films. So, uh, yeah. 
Natural Born Killers, one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, need to check that one out. Nightcrawler, great Jake Gyllenhaal film. Uh, the Night Listener with Robin Williams and Tony Collette. Uh, no Country for Old Men, fantastic film. No Holds Barred. Uh, North by Northwest, which I've heard is a really, really good movie. And now we get this stack. And we'll actually move the third stack over. Uh, I'm not sure how much editing will be done in this video, but yeah. Uh, the Notebook with, of course, Ryan Gosling. Uh, Notorious, which was like two bucks actually. Uh, the number 23, I don't know why I paid five dollars for that. It, it's really not worth it. Uh, oh Brother Rark Thou, which is a really, really good Coen Brothers film. Observe and Report. Ocean's 11. Ocean's 12. And Ocean's 13. Uh, I, I, if, if ever I do get Ocean's 8, I'll wait till it's at like a pawn shop for like two bucks and then I'll pick it up. Uh, I'm not paying $25 for that. Uh, Octopussy. Uh, Office Space, which came in the three pack with Napoleon Dynamite. Old School. The Omen. Or the remake of The Omen, I should say. One Hour Photo. Great Robin Williams movie. Very underrated, in my opinion. Once Upon a Time in the West. Uh, I legit almost said Once Upon a Time in Hollywood because I can't wait for that movie to get released on uh, Blu-ray. Good movie, I've heard. Or Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is also pretty good. Uh, open Season. Uh, open Windows with Elijah Wood and Sasha Gray, who I guess, uh, from what I remember, this was during her phase where she didn't want to be a porn star and she wanted to be an actual actress, and it obviously didn't work out because she was only in like three movies. Uh, Orange County. Colin Hanks and Jack Black. I heard it's not too bad. Uh, the Outsiders, which I've heard is really good. I should probably check that out sometime. Over Her Dead Body with the guy from American Pie, uh, Lake Bell. I think I'm a sucker for Lake Bell. I like Turn Man Up. I might have to check that out and check out a couple other movies. Oh, yeah, and Ant-Man's also in there. Paul Rudd. Uh, Over the Hedge, great film for me personally. P2, which I don't watch crap horror movies. Panic Room, pretty good movie. Paper Towns, also a pretty good movie I find. Better than The Fault of My Stars, I would think. Paranormal Activity 3. Uh, Parental Guidance, which thankfully I did not pay money for, despite having uh, Marisha Toman, who I quite like. Uh, Paul with... I think this is actually the only Kristen Wiig movie I like. I didn't realize Bill Hader was in this. I gotta be honest, I totally did not realize uh, Bill Hader was in this movie. Yeah, uh, learn something new every day, and apparently that's what I learned today. Paul Blart Molkoff, this is an absolute meme. It's got an actual disc in there, of course. Um, uh, yeah, uh, Paul Blart Molkoff, we're just gonna move right on. Uh, paycheck. Uh, the Peanuts movie, great, funny film. The People vs. Larry Flint, very underrated. One of my favorite Edward Norton movies, one of my favorite Woody Harrelson movies. Maybe my favorite Woody act, uh, movie, actually. Uh, the Perfect Score. Perfect Stranger. The Phoenix Incident, which li literally was $2. Uh, Uh, we've got the Pink Panther remake, and this should arguably come before it since it's part of the original, but uh, the Pink Panther Strikes Again, which, uh, of course, can't watch it until I get the other ones, but it was a dollar at a pawn shop, so I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, 
Those are the only two that I believe are worth watching from what I've heard. Uh, Planet of the Apes, which I got because it was a dollar and it looked, it was kind of rare at the time, or it's rare around here. You don't see that often. The Polar Express, that was a dollar. Precious Cargo, this was $20 when my parents bought it. I really don't know why. Uh, yeah, and it's still sealed. We have not watched it yet. Oh, this is a good one. The two-disc special edition of Predator. That's a real... I was really excited when I saw this at the the pawn shop I frequented. Because I saw the spine. I was like, oh, shit, is that? And I was like, yep, that's Predator. I'm picking that up. And uh, I bought it part of their uh, 8 for 10 deal. So it was like a dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty, really. Uh, Pride. Uh, Primal Fear, which I paid like 7 bucks for on Amazon. Because you won't find that around here in Montreal. Uh, the, Pri the Prince and Me. Oh, God. The Princess Diaries 2, Royal Engagement. Um, you know, thinking about it, I could probably sell all my Disney DVDs at a big profit. <laughs> I'm not going to, but if I were to, I probably could make quite a profit. Uh, the Prodigies. Wah! Uh, Prom Night, the remake. Pumpkin, which actually does not have the disc in it, and I think about it. I only keep this just so if ever I find a loose disc of Pumpkin at a pawn shop or something. Uh, the Pursuit of Happiness, uh, Quiet, which is the only Q movie I think I own right now. Oh yeah, Alicia, Alicia Kirthbert, Kirthbert. I got a quite quite a few movies with her actually. I think. Oh, The Rage Carry Two. This is a very rare DVD. I'm very happy to have found that. It was ten bucks with the uh, indecent proposal, but you know, it's a rare DVD. Uh, we've got Raise Your Voice, which has a very young Kat Dennings in it. I keep thinking, I keep wanting to say Elizabeth Gillies, but that's not Elizabeth Gillies. That is, uh, Kat Dennings. So, yeah. I don't even remember how I got this. I think my sister gave me this one, because she has a copy as well. But, uh, but yeah. Raise Your Voice, uh, Hilary Duff, I guess. Uh, Ratatouille. This was, like, three bucks at a pawn shop. That's a really good deal. Uh, ready to Rumble. Actually, yeah, true. Ratatouille. That's actually that actually is a really good deal. Uh, ready to Rumble for a dollar fifty. I would think this is uh, a little rare. Uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of sun damage, but I mean, come on, ready to Rumble. You don't pass a ready to Rumble. Uh, Rear Window, a Alfred Hitchcock film. I believe the only one. I, oh no, North by. I don't think North by Northwest was. I should probably get back in the frame. I don't think North by Northwest was uh, was Alfred Hitchcock. I'm pretty sure. Just rear window in my collection. Oh, and another one that we're getting to soon. Uh, Red Eye, which I've heard is a decent film. Uh, Rain Over Me, which I've also heard is a decent film. Uh, Reservoir Dogs, my favorite, personally my favorite Tarantino film. I have it on both DVD and Blu-ray. Funny enough, when I first saw the cast and the title, I was like, oh, Reservoir Dogs, this can't be that good. And I watched it, I loved it. It was a great film. Uh, the Ring... And The Ring 2, which actually is still unopened. I've yet to open and watch uh, The Ring 2. I haven't seen the first one either, actually. Uh, Robocop and a dope, uh, dope uh, um, lenticular cover. Robocop 2. I still need to get Robocop 3. Uh, Rocky 2. Oh, yeah. And I, I should probably mention, after I finish these, I still have the box sets to, to cover. Um, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, Rounders, great film. Matt Damon and Edward Norton. Rubber with a really cool lenticular cover as well. Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Uh, Run, Fat Boy, Run, which I've just heard is... You know, looking at it, I really don't know why I got this movie. <laughs> um, I think I really just got it because it's uh, Simon Pegg, and I like anything Simon Pegg's in. The Rundown. Uh, Running Scared, which I think my parents bought full price at retail. Uh, Running with Scissors, which has a really bad cast now that I look at it, especially Alec Baldwin and Gwyneth Paltrow. Uh, the Rush Hour Trilogy. Russell Madness, of course you gotta have some good wrestling goodness in your DVD collection, RV. Uh, San, San Andreas, which my parents bought at retail. 
Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, one of my favorite additions to the collection in recent memory. For a dollar twenty-five, this is this is great. I find a lot of rare DVDs for like a dollar twenty-five. Santa Claus three, the escape clause. And then we'll start off with Saw. And uh, Saw 2, these are five dollars each. I regret that heavily. Um I did not I did not even realize Danny Glover was in the original Saw. That's actually really impressive. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna end off this section. When I come back, I'll have the, I think I'll have the final stack of DVDs before the box sets. I'll see you then. All right, and I've decided to record. It probably is like 10 minutes from the last part I just did. I'm very, very tired out. I'm gonna move DVDs back and forth. But I'm going to get this out of the way, and then I'll get the box sets done sometime. I don't know. I might just make them their own video. Doubt it, but never know. Uh, so let's continue. We've got Saw 4 and Saw 5, which is funny because I actually have two copies of Saw 4. One of them I'm obviously going to sell, but that's funny because I have two copies of Saw 4 when I thought I already had Saw 3, but I don't. I obviously need Saw 3. Uh, the Savages. Love Philip Seymour Hoffman. Scarface, great, great movie. Um, Scary Movie 3. Uh, Schindler's List, which uh, comes in this really cool uh, case. Yeah, I guess it was in the, I guess they released an Academy Award Best Picture thing, and that's one of them. Whoa, Jesus, the scratch pack. I didn't scream too much because these are indestructible to Blu-ray. Scream. And of course you got Scream 2. Uh, screwed with uh, Norm MacDonald, da Dave Chappelle, and Danny DeVito. That's a decent movie. Secrets of the Furious 5. Did I already say Scary Movie 3? Oh yeah, I did. A while back. <laughs> uh, See No Evil with Kane. He was supposed to have a two-foot dick in that movie. Sadly, he didn't. <laughs> Uh, seeking a Friend for the End of the World. I really need to see this movie. I heard it's actually really depressing, but I like depressing movies. Semi-Pro. This is actually a... I'm not sure if you can see, but th this is a screening copy for promotional use only, not for resale or... Uh, not for rental or sale, which is funny, because I got this. Uh, that's the only rental copy of a movie I actually own, which is kind of cool. Uh, Seven. Fantastic movie. Seven Pounds. Haven't seen it. Uh, Shadow Boxer, Shaun of the Dead, great movie. Uh, Shawshank Redemption, which is still sealed. It was two dollars at a thrift shop. Uh, the Shining, The Good Shining, The Bad Shining. Uh, Shoot 'em Up, which. I've heard it's a pretty funny movie, so definitely check that out. Uh, Shooter, Marky Mark, Shorts, uh, Shrek 2, and Shrek 3D. Uh, Shrek Forever After, great, funny movie. Shutter Island, still sealed, which was not $5. It was actually a dollar, I want to say, at the pawn shop that I frequented. Sideways, The Simpsons movie, theatrical cut of Sin City with, of course, the uh, with the double cover. But I also own the Sin City box set, recut and extended. Um, yeah, that's a pretty cool box set. Sadly, the book is not in there. Sister Act, Sister Act Two, Sister Act Two. Uh, the Sixth Sense. Uh, Skeleton Twins, which was very, very bad. It was not a great movie at all. Bill Hader's easily the best part of it, of course. Uh, Slapshot. Slapshot 2. Breaking the Ice, I should say. Slapshot 3 of the Junior League. Um, yeah, I guess they were trying to pass down Slapshot onto a younger generation, and they really just couldn't. So, 
yeah, I don't think they ever made a fourth one. I don't think they ever will, honestly. I could see a reboot. I could see a reboot happening, but yeah. Uh, sleepover. Slumdog Millionaire, which is probably very overrated. Sorry, Danny Boyle. Uh, the Smokey and the Bandit collection, which of course comes with Smokey and the Bandit uh, 2, Part 3, Bandit Goes Country, Bandit Bandit, uh, Beauty and the Bandit, Bandit's uh, Silver Angel, and then uh, Snatch, which I've heard is a pretty good movie with uh, Brad Pitt, and uh, of course Bencio del, Bencio del Toro. And next up we've got uh, Sneakers, which has a pretty good cast. So I definitely want to check that out. Uh, Snow Buddies. Uh, the Social Network, which is a great film. Uh, the Soloist, which was actually the first Blu-ray I technically ever had. Uh, Speed in the Five Star Collection with Keanu Reeves, Sandra Bullock, of course. Um, Spider-Man 2.1. Sadly, don't know one or three yet. The SpongeBob movie, rewatched this uh Earlier this month, and it is an amazing. It's still great. Still love that movie. Uh, Spy Kids 2: The Island of Lost Dreams. Probably the most one of the most nostalgic movies for me. Spy Kids 3D: Game Over. Um, the Spy Who Loved Me. Uh, the Squeak Along. Okay, so Alvin and the Chipmunks 2 and Ice Age 3 were two movies I got at retail, full price. Uh, Stanley's Mutants, Monsters, and Marvels, which is a really, really interesting documentary I gotta check out, or, uh, interview I gotta check out. Oh, yeah, and you, you know this was in 2002, and it says, Stanley's Inside Scoop on Spider-Man the Movie, uh, which is really, really cool, honestly. Uh, Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, yeah, The Voyage Home, I was about to say The Voyage of Spock, but, or The Spoyage of, The Spoyage, uh, Star Wars II, Attack of the Clones. And Star Wars 3, Revenge of the Sith. I don't own 1, 4, 5, or 6 just yet. And, of course, I won't own the the, uh, the requels. Uh, State of Grace. Uh, Step Brothers, which is a terrible, terrible movie. I don't know why anyone likes it. Uh, uh, Stephen King's Graveyard Shift. Stephen King's It, sadly not the remake. I don't own that yet. Um, it Chapter 2 actually came out about a month or month or so ago. Looking forward to that. Strike Force. Uh, I believe the first Richard Gere movie I own. Uh, Suburbicon. And I know this is going to be an unpopular opinion. Well, probably two in a row. I don't like Suburbicon. It was a bad movie. I like Suicide Squad. It's, it's a decent movie. I will admit its flaws, but I thoroughly enjoy it. Probably just for Margot Robbie as as Harley Quinn, because she's probably the best portrayal of Harley Quinn we've gotten on on the the on the silver screen thus far. But I don't know. Uh, it's, Jared Leto as the Joker is fun to laugh at, I guess, because it's Jared Leto. Um, Suicide Squad: Hell to Pay, which I actually bought these two technically at retail. Mom and my mom and dad bought me that for bought me the Suicide Squad for Christmas, and then I bought Hell to Pay at Walmart. It was like 15 bucks. Thankfully, it wasn't that much. Surprisingly, especially since it was a Blu-ray. Super bad, which was a dollar. I'm probably going to hate it, but I figured, eh, I might as well give it a chance sometime. Sweeney Tog, the Demon Barber, the fuck am I saying? The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, which I've not seen yet. Uh, the Sweetest Sweet Thing. thing. Uh, Sympathy, Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, which I really freaked out when I when I saw this at the pawn shop. shop. I was like, oh, no way, they got... They got the the first one in the uh, uh, the old boy trilogy, as I call it. But uh, I I wish I could remember what the trilogy is actually called. But uh, but yeah, I believe it goes Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, Old Boy, and uh, Lady Vengeance. I believe that's how it goes. I don't think it's Old Boy Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance and Lady Vengeance. But if that is how it goes, I'm I'm gonna be very happy to see Old Boy. Uh, Syriana with uh, George Clooney, Matt Damon. Very excited to see that. Take this waltz. Uh, take down the DNA of GSP. Taken. Taken two. And taken three. I was about to say, I was, I was, for a second, I was like, wait, am I even recording? I was like, thankfully I am. Uh, taking lives. Uh, the Tale of Despero. 
Talladega Knights, the Battle of Rookie Bobby. Will, uh, Team America World Police, Ted, don't own Ted 2 yet, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the U's, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2014 version, Teenage Paparazzo, which is, seems like a really interesting movie, um, yeah, it's got a bunch of celebrities in it, that's really the only reason I picked it up at first, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, My apologies. I smell toast right now. Oh, God. Yeah, we're definitely going into three or four stacks. Definitely. Uh, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Uh, Texas Chainsaw and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning. By the way, I apologize for the glare. I got my, my light on, of course. Uh, thank you for smoking. Great film. Uh, there Will Be Blood, fantastic film. Uh, three, billboard, three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, also a great film. Uh, Titanic, which I've never seen. TMNT, so I have at least one movie from every generation of TMNT movies they tried. I feel like there was someone famous in, in this version. Uh, oh, Patrick Stewart and Kevin Smith, yeah. Uh, Sarah Michelle G Gallon as well. Oh, of course, Ma Mako. Mako, of course. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne did the narration. I didn't even know that. And then I guess some guy named Chris Evans is in there. I don't know. Uh, Tooth Fairy 2 with Larry the Cable Guy. Toy Story 3. Uh, Traffic, which has a pretty good cast. Uh, Transformers, this is the two-disc special edition. Uh, this is actually to replace the theatrical cut, or theatrical cut, the one-disc edition I have had. Uh, Tropic Thunder. True Grit, the remake with beautiful Haley Steinfeld. Uh, true Story of Puss in Boots. I promise you guys, I only bought one of these. Twilight, that was one in a contest. Twilight Saga New Moon, this is the one I bought. I don't even know if I bought it, or my parents bought it, I forget. Uh, Twilight Saga New Moon, my sister gave that to me. Twilight Saga Eclipse, my sister gave that to me. And Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1, sister gave that to me. I'm going to have to buy Breaking Dawn Part 2 sometime to complete them all because my OCD is acting up. Uh, Twister. And yes, that's the end of the tease. We're going to put these there. Alright, next up we've got uh, Unaccompanied Miners. Unbreakable. Pretty good film. Uh, oh yeah, it's like that so I can have a... Actually, wait, no, it doesn't even need to be like that. There we go. Unbreakable. That's the proper way it should be. Um, Under the Skin. Masterpiece of a film. One of my favorites. Uh, the fact this was $2 at Giant Tiger, which is a Canadian store, that blows my mind. And the fact it was so amazing, that that's just great. Uh, Undisputed 2. Last Man Standing. Uh, the Ugly Truth, which does not look great. I've heard Katherine Heigl is a bit of a bitch. Uh, the Ultimate Paranormal Activity Collection. This was a dollar twenty-five at that pawn shop. I keep saying dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty, just to vary because I'm not even sure if it was a dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty, eight movies for ten. Uh, but yeah, it's got of course Paranormal Activity, Paranormal Activity Two, Paranormal Activity Three, Paranormal Activity Four, uh, and the marked ones on the Ghost I mentioned as well. Um, Unfriended. <sighs> Unfriended Dark Web. This was a dollar. Like, not even at a pawn shop. At a yard sale, this was a dollar. And then, I actually liked this when I saw it in theaters, and I bought it on Blu-ray at retail price. Yes, I regret a lot. Um, I don't regret buying this for a dollar, though. The fact it was still, like, 20 bucks at retail, that's still pretty good. Uh, the Untouchables. Up. Which I still argue is only good for the first 10 minutes and then it goes really downhill. Up in the Air. Jason Reitman movie. 
Uh, v for Vendetta. The Vacancy. Vampire's Assistant. Uh, Cirque the Freak. Vampire Suck. The first actual Blu-ray I got myself. Um, all right, not I bought myself, but I got that was received by me. Uh, Vantage Point. I only say this all was because my si it was my sister's and she gave me all her DVDs and Blu-rays a few years back. Uh, Vertigo, the other Alfred Hitchcock movie I have. Both of them with James Stewart, I believe, actually. Uh, the only thing that sucks is the collectible pop art work. That's the only thing I hate. But, I mean, when you find Vertigo for like $1.25 at a, at a pawn shop, you, you pick it up. You pick up a masterpiece film like Vertigo. Uh, then we got uh, The View of Terror with Shannon Doherty, who I actually forget who that is. Um, Shannon Doherty. I don't believe that's a, No, it's, I'm pretty sure it's Michael Doherty that did a fake, uh, Vacancy. You can see. Uh, Trick or Treat and Krampus. I don't think it's Shannon Doherty. Might be, though. Uh, the Villains of Spider-Man 3. This came with Spider-Man 2.1. I That was really nostalgic to me. And I especially love the fact that it's like five minutes. Oh, it's... Uh, Excuse me, approximately 13 minutes. I don't think you can see that. That's kind of funny. Uh, Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story, which I personally find really funny. The only Jad, Judd Apatow movie uh, that I actually find funny, I believe. Um, 40 Old Virgin might be there, actually, I think. I'm, that might be a Judd Apatow movie. Uh, Walk the Line, another Joaquin Phoenix movie. I still, I, I really like Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, Walking Tall with The Rock. Uh, Wall Street Money Never Sleeps with Michael Douglas, of course. Uh, we've got Wanted, James McAvoy. Warm Bodies, which was like three bucks. Uh, Warrior, Tom Hardy, and uh, Nick Nolte. Uh, the Warriors, which was a dollar. That's a really good pickup. Uh, Watchmen, which I've heard is really good, despite it being like three hours long. Yeah, pretty much just just under three hours long. Uh, Wayne's World and Wayne's World 2. I believe they were both a dollar at a pawn shop, actually, I think. Uh, we Own the Night, another Joaquin Phoenix movie. Really like Joaquin Phoenix, as you guys could probably tell. Uh, Wedding Crashers, not a Joaquin Phoenix movie. Uh, the Wedding Singer. Uh, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. <sighs> uh, what Happens in Vegas. Uh, whatever works. Uh, when a stranger calls. Uh, white chicks. Uh, white man can jump. Uh, the whole nine yards and the whole ten yards. By the way, with um, white man can jump. Love Woody Harrelson. Uh, Wild Thornberry's movie, which is a very very nostalgic movie for me. Uh, William Shatner. William Shatner's Jesus. Uh, William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Uh, the case is a little damaged, which kind of sucks. I don't even know who's in that. Leo and is it is it uh, Kate Winslet again? I gotta I gotta check real quick. Is it Kate Winslet in that movie with with Leo as well? I don't think so. Claire Danes. Never heard of her. Actually, no. I think I have. Actually, that's a lie. I might have. Um, next up, one of my favorite childhood movies. Uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Great film. Wilson, love Woody Harrelson. And I believe what's her name is in there. Uh yeah, Laura Dern. Laura Dern's in there. Um Yeah. Uh Wimbledon. Oh yeah, I didn't realize that's uh Vision. Or uh, Jarvis, excuse me. Not No. That's uh that's Jarvis, Paul Bentley. I didn't even realize that. I might have to check this movie out. I really like Jarvis. Uh, Wind River, a Avengers reunion with Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen, which I kind of find funny. I saw the light. Um, Elizabeth Olsen and Tom Hiddleston. Wind River, Elizabeth Olsen and Jeremy Renner. And then, oh God, there's another movie. There's another movie. I can't think of it right now. Damn it. I don't know why I can't. There's, an, uh, I, there's a connection between Elizabeth Olsen and like eight Marvel actors in different films. Uh, Riz Wizards of Waverly Place, the movie. Uh, Wolf of Wall Street, one of the 
best movies of all time, in my opinion. Wolverine, one probably arguably the best X Men movie. Like it's probably not. It's not even an X Men movie. It's a Wolverine movie. Obviously, second best only to Logan. Logan's a fantastic film. Uh, the Woman in the Fifth with, of course, e Ethan Hawke and uh, Kristen Scott, Scott Thomas, which I believe this is a horror film. Oh, it's a French film. Oh, it was made in France, but it's an English film. Optional French dub, which is I really like that. Uh, World Trade Center, which is a terrible, terrible film. It's just really bad. The Wrestler, really depressing movie. Uh, Wrong Turn 3, Left 4 Dead. I don't own one or two yet, sadly. Uh, X-Men. And we got X-Men 1.5, the only version to own, apparently. Um, which I was very lucky to find that for $2. Uh, X2, X-Men United. I really hope... Alright, good. There's no, uh, no lag right now, it seems. Knock on wood. Uh, X3, The Last Stand, a terrible film. X-Men Origins Wolverine, terrible film. Uh, X-Men First Class, great film. Uh, Days of Future Past and Apocalypse, also good films. I just don't own them yet, sadly. Young, Young Frankenstein, this came in the three-pack with Office Space and Napoleon Dynamite. Yours, Mine, and Ours. Uh, Z for Zachariah, not that bad of a movie. Uh, only really driving star power was Margot Robbie. It's not that bad. Uh, Zathura, a space adventure. I still need to get Jumanji. Zombieland, arguably my favorite zombie movie. Uh, it's up there, definitely with Shaun of the Dead. Not sure if, which one's my favorite. Zoolander, kind of overrated. It was funny, but not hilariously funny. Uh, Zoom, Academy for Superheroes. And that's all the movies I own, at least until we get to the uh, to the box sets. Uh, those might actually be in a different movie. I don't know. I kind of want to go in depth on those. I might do a 20-minute video just on those. But yeah, um, I'm probably going to do that, actually. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share, everything, which includes but is not limited to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and everything else. My name is Harry Rice. Subscribe to the Puff Club. Subscribe to join the HD Club. Thank you once again, Jesse, to, uh, for buying this webcam for me. Um, yeah, I, oh, yeah. Uh, follow me on my Twitter and my Twitch. Those links are in the description. My Amazon wishlist is also in the description. If you want to support the stream in any way, that's down there. It's mostly a bunch of movies that uh, I've heard are good or that I want to check out. There's some meme movies on there, like um, I forget I forget any example. I, I don't have any examples off the top of my head, but there's a bunch of movies in there. A lot of them are really cheap, surprisingly. Uh, if they're like five dollars here, they should be like three U.S. I believe. Don't quote me on that exactly. But yeah, if you choose to to support me in any way, that's the that's the way you can do it. My letter my letterbox is also on there. If you want to find out how I feel on any of these movies that I've seen, check that out. There might be a, like one or two that I'm missing actually that I might need to update the, my letterbox, but yeah, that, that's going to do it. My name is Harris, and I am out. Peace.